I'm Tracy. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here, I upcycle clothes and I love doing tutorials on them. Today we're going to jazz up just a plain old pink t-shirt with celery stamping and some creative cutting. First thing I'm going to do is cut my celery to make the stamp. I'm going to cut it right here. If I cut too close to the end, I lose my flower pattern. Um, if you cut too far up, you have kind of a weird spread out pattern, but I'd rather see you cut too big at first because you can always cut smaller if you don't like it. But once you cut small, you can't go back. So I'm going to start right here. Now look at that. It's a flower. I set my celery on a paper plate just to kind of get the moisture out of the bottom and I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to just take a little Tupperware dish and just some pure bleach and I'm going to pour a little bit in the bottom of the dish. Now I'm going to add a plastic garbage bag in between the layers here so that the bleach doesn't soak through and ruin the other side. Okay, so now I'm going to take my bleach and my celery stamp and I'm just going to dip it in there and make sure it's not dripping all over the place. And then I'll lightly tap it onto the shirt. And that one looks like it might have, could have been a little bit harder. Let me go over here. Okay. Now it will take, usually when you're using pure bleach on a cotton, eh, it takes about five, 10 minutes to process before you really see the flower pattern. But I'll show you some more finish in a second once it's processed. Okay, so here's the back. I'm going to turn it over and work on the front. And now that I look at this, when I did the lighter one to begin with, that's the one I end up liking the most. And that's why I start on the back. In case I need to make any adjustments, I can make it better on the front. Okay, so here's the front. I actually pulled off a couple of the larger leaves and um, I'll see what the smaller um, little rows looks like. Okay, I've got this smaller celery stamp here and I think I'll just go lightly. Ooh, I think that'll turn out nice. I just put them randomly and put them whatever, wherever you want. Okay, so here's the front. I am going to wash it and dry it on normal cycles and then we will cut it up. Okay, so here's my shirt all washed and dried. I wish the flowers would have been a little more defined, but I still think they're cool. If I had to do over again, I would have cut a little further out on my celery to get more defined petals. But now I want to do an off the shoulder cut. I want to cut the hem off the sleeves to make them a little more loose and edgy looking. And then I'm going to do a detail at the bottom. So the first thing I'm going to do is line these sleeves up perfectly. And then I'm just going to cut the hem off. And I'll do this on both sides. I always give it a little stretch to make that line more smooth and cute. Okay, I have both sleeves cut off. Now what I want to do is cut the off the shoulder. Now, this is a pretty small t-shirt with a pretty tight crew neck, so I can easily start one and a half inches out on each side. So what I'll do is I'll start cutting one and a half inches out approximately, come down underneath, the, just underneath the collar. I'm not gonna go an inch and a half all the way around. I'm gonna start here, come in, 
and come back out to an inch and a half. That probably won't be big enough, but I'd rather start small because I can always cut bigger. So after I do that, I'll try it on. But I'll show you how I cut that in one second. Okay, see this is one and a half down under the collar. And then I'm gonna give this a little stretch, smooth out those lines, and I'm gonna go try it on quick and see. I bet I'll have to go a little bigger, I'll let you know. So I tried this on and it's just perfect. I'm glad I didn't go any bigger. Um, I just gave it a good stretch and it fell off my shoulder perfectly. So now what I'm doing is just cutting the hem off the bottom. Okay, so now what I'm doing, I got an old white t-shirt that is just kind of was thrown in the rag box actually, but now I decided I can use it a little bit. I cut the hem off of it and now I'm cutting a one inch strip. This one doesn't have any seams on the side, so I can cut a nice one inch strip all the way around. And then I'm going to give that a good stretch and it turns it into sort of this string. Oops. <laughs> what I'm going to do with this t-shirt string is I just want to do a little crisscross sort of shoestring looking tie just as a detail kind of off to the side here. So how I'm going to do that is I took a piece of paper and cut it out two inches by two inches. And I'm gonna decide where I want my string embellishment to go. And I'm going to start about half an inch down or up from the bottom, lay my little square there, and I'm going to take, I'm gonna use a marker. You can use whatever you want, a piece of chalk or whatever. And then, this was my last dot. I'm going to go up about three quarters of an inch from that and just make four more dots right around the square here. And I'm going to do it one more time. Once or twice, let's see how it looks. Sometimes I don't have a plan. I just kind of go with how things are looking. Yeah, I think I'll go up one more time. That way you can really see the string. Yeah, I'll go about right here. Now I have all my dots on there. I am going to go back to it with my scissors and where each black mark is, I am going to make the teeniest, tiniest little snip. As small as I can because that will stretch out once you start putting the string through. So I'll do that all the way up. Now what I'll do is I'll take my string and I'll go underneath the shirt and I'll put one end through this hole, the very top hole, and then the other end through the very top hole. I have them through the holes. Now I'll take this one and I'll come to the next hole on the opposite side and put it through and then I'll do the same with this one. And then you can imagine it's like tying a shoe lace and then this will be inside I'll push it up through this next hole and cross it over see I have this crisscross done my string is now inside the shirt I'm pushing it back up through here and then I'll crisscross it again and I'll do that all the way down okay so here's the finished top I love it I'll probably be living in this this summer